Hi, today I'm going to talk about the TerraVM Cybersecurity Assessment and show you a demo. TerraVM now offers the most powerful combination of industry-leading security tests, threat assessment, secure VPN performance, and firewall load testing with real and attack traffic. TerraVM enables continued assessments of vulnerabilities with regular validation of the latest cybersecurity threats and exploits. Its monthly updates will educate end users to potential threats and also enables validation of ongoing security patching prior to release. TerraVM enables emulation of 8,000 plus common vulnerabilities and exposures. A sample of the library is shown above. The complete list of the CVE repository with 8,000 plus threat and exploits is available. Additionally, you can add hundreds of thousands of your own custom apps or attacks to this database. With this library assessment, you'll be able to test the security of any firewall. TerraVM will emulate client and server side and the attacks going from one side to the other. For this demo, I'm going to use PFSense Firewall as my DUT. As I mentioned before, with TerraVM, you have the ability to test any physical or virtual firewall. With our app library application, we'll be able to select the applications from our file repository that we want to replay. TCP and UDP playbacks. TerraVM contains sophisticated thresholding with event notification on a per endpoint, per flow basis, which will allow us to define the specific thresholds which will help evaluate the impact of the application's emulation on your DUTs. The TerraVM file repository contains the cybersecurity library, plus a large group of other PCAP files to emulate other real-world applications. Additionally, you'll be able to have your own group of PCAP files to test within the threat assessment. And finally, the device under test. For the demo, I installed an open source virtual firewall deployed as virtual machine on ESXi and installed Snort package on it. Snort is an open source intrusion prevention system capable of real-time traffic analysis and packet logging created by Sourcefire, acquired by Cisco. This image demonstrates how the firewall interfaces and the different TerraVMs are defined to be able to test the firewall. TVM004 is in the same port group of the WAN interface, and TVM003 is in the same port group of the LAN interface. So we will use TVM4 to emulate the clients going from the outside network to the inside network, which will be emulated by TVM3. Once we have the environment set up, we are ready to test the firewall. I will now present a quick demo to show you how you can test your firewall within the threat library assessment. The first step will be running and creating an application library test from the OBT mode, objective-based test mode. The configuration of the test from this screen is very simple. First, I specify the DUT outside gateway, client side, and inside gateway server side. Next, I will select the proper port group's configuration file from the controller. Now I'm ready to browse the repository to select the applications I want to emulate in our test. For this specific demo, I'm going to select two applications which are good traffic, AOL file transfer and Yahoo conference and three threads. I will take SAMI FTP server buffer overflow vulnerability and open SSL and open TLS heartbeat information disclosure vulnerability threads. Once I have the main setup selected from this view, I will move to the standard mode. Here you will see that TerraVM has created server and clients for each application you are going to emulate. Next step is defining the thresholds I have defined here. False positive thresholds for the good traffic will be displayed when good traffic gets blocked, and thread blocked or thread passed for threads, one or the other will be displayed for each thread. Now I'm going to log in on my virtual firewall management interface to show you how the traffic is going to go through it. I go to Services, Snort, and here I'll be checking alerts and blocks. It is now time to run the test. I will now load the threshold to see the results. You can see here that two of the threads have been blocked correctly how one of the good applications, AOL file transfer, has been blocked incorrectly, and how one of the threads is passed. Let's move to our firewall to see what's going on. Here, I see how this rule could be the one blocking my AOL file transfer traffic application, and we verify that the IP range matches. 
I can also see how the traffic coming from the IP range, which is replaying the FTP thread, is going through the firewall without being detected. So next step will be adjust, change whatever is necessary in the firewall, add, remove, modify rules, and retest. At the end of the process, your firewall will be infallible.